This forecast is powered by Johnson's Appliances and Betty, located in Ocean City and Wildwood, or online at johnsonsappliances.net. Happy Tuesday, everybody, and boy, what a happy Tuesday it is indeed. I am a little bit tired, but it was totally worth staying up late to see that awesome game last night. That gave us all a little bit of hope, right? All right, well, Mother Nature is not going to give us any hope today because we got green on the map, and that means that rain is going to be coming back in again. Just like yesterday, kind of ugly. Write it off on your taxes. The end of the year is coming up. I'm not sure if you're going to get reimbursed for this, though. High pressure out to our west. This is cold air that's going to start to sink into our region by tonight and tomorrow. And that's going to come at a time when we're going to be watching moisture right up along this frontal system. And that's going to bring us some snow by late tonight. Let's get you out the door. Make sure you have an umbrella with you. We're looking at cloudy skies with those showers coming back in. Temperatures are actually in the upper 50s. It feels pretty darn good out there. North factor of a three because we are dealing with the rain, unfortunately. 53 in the Liberty Bell City, 58 in Atlantic City, 51 up in New York City. Look at the cold air out over Cleveland and Columbus. This is going to start to smash in later in the day. Right now, we're fine. We're sitting at 58 in Hamilton, 60 for Mays Landing, 61 in Sea Isle and Cape May with that south wind. Plenty of clouds out there. The heavy rain is going to hold off a little bit. Around the lunch hour, we're going to be looking at pockets of downpours. Temperatures will start to come down after the cold front's out of here by 4, 5, 6 o'clock. And then we're going to see a rapid change by around 10 o'clock down into the 30s. Rain, snow, beginning to set up along the Delaware River, and then that line's going to crash to the southeast to the point where when we wake up tomorrow morning, there will likely be areas of snow. Some of that snow could be moderate to heavy. That gets out of here, and we'll see improving conditions for your Wednesday afternoon. Now, I know a lot of you are asking the big question, how much snow are we going to see? I'll get there in a second, but first I want to focus on our temperature for tomorrow. Today, we're in the Upper 50s around 60. Tomorrow we're down to around 40, and that could come in around midnight. We're probably in the 30s for most of tomorrow, again, with that clearing late day. All right, this is what you clicked on this video for. I know a general coating to a couple inches for pretty much everybody. This isn't a very difficult storm to try to nail down. Um, I'm just not sure that that two inches gets to the coast. I'm going nothing to an inch along the Bear Islands. Really depends on how quickly we can get that snow to crash down there. If there's a bullseye area, there's going to be one to three inches along the I-95 corridor, perhaps northwest Camden and Gloucester County, up through Trenton, Piscataway, and New York. And there might be some wiggle room here this afternoon. I'll look at the guidance and update you if any big changes jump out at me. So stay connected on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. And, of course, you can go to my website and subscribe for email alerts. It's nor'easternick.com. Your 7-day forecast, we are brighter and Colder on Thursday, sunny skies return. Friday, we have another wet weather maker coming in. I think by Saturday afternoon, we're dry again.